Welcome to the ReaperScan uh, video called Interesting Ovaries. In this video, we will be looking at cysts, tumors, ovarian structures, and some pathology. First, we're going to go back and review the normal reproductive anatomy. We've circled the cervix in blue, or outlining the uterus, including the horns in yellow. And there's the left ovary and right ovary. And this corresponds to the 6.5 image on the right, and the follicles are circulated in uh, green and the hollow fluid filled CL in blue. Examination number one. Here we have a 22 centimeter depth image from an XTC and we're looking at that on the left at a, a large fluid filled structure and in this open heifer. So there's the open uterine horns corresponding to the dissection on the right and there we've circled the four centimeter ovarian cyst. This heifer was open as we mentioned. We're on to examination number two, an interesting ovary here, 6.5 megahertz linear probe image and we've circled two follicles in blue and two CLs in, right, in orange on the right and now we're going to go back and let's just look more closely at that luteal tissue. There's two follicles again, they're fairly easy to see. And then look at all that luteal tissue in that different gray color. And you'll see why here shortly, why I think there are two CLs. Now this is different than the dissection on the right. That's only a single CL over there with two follicles. So there's one, but then notice down below that there's another hollow center. So I'm suggesting there's a second CL that would be there. So this is a from a cow that likes to have twins. Examination number three. This is a granulosa cell tumor, an image captured on an older Reaper scan unit using a smartphone. Look at the size of this tumor and all the different the structure inside that ovary. You sure pay attention when you see one of these. There's the bladder moving ahead onto the ovary. Let's outline it in blue and there's the corresponding tumor from this dissection thanks to Visgar. And uh, we're on to examination number four. Here's another granulosa cell tumor. Again, captured, this is a Voviscan curve, 22 centimeter depth setting, and there's what it would look like dissected out thanks to Kansas State University. And uh, thank you. On to examination number five. Now this was a very unusual examination. We've got what I'm going to call a follicular cyst there with a hydrocell pink fluid in the cell pinks. And, but there's also, you're going to see here as we move around, this is a RME and linear probe exam. And as we try to work our way in, we're going to see increasing amount of fluid. Just This is proximal to the ovary. And this outlined here in red is a fluid filled chamber. And it was adhered to the abdominal wall. And there it is. It sort of carries on. It's hard to uh, differentiate the entire structure. Uh, I'm going to think this has got something to do with a lot of fluid accumulating in and around the oviduct, but there's so much fluid it's pretty wild. And uh, there's a blood vessel there, and here's a very small segment of, and not that well defined because this animal wasn't cycling, I don't think, of open uterus. Lots of extra fluid right there. We just get a little hint of the bladder as we pull out. There's our bladder. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank the Visgar People, University of Florida. Please go to their website, V-I-S-G-A-R, and look at all the great uh, images that are there. If you have any questions about this video or any of our other technical videos, please give us a call at ReaperScan, 877-890-2411. Thank you.